Hey guys, Lumen02, uh, currently participating in a draft of M19, and what do we have here? What does this thing do? So I have not reviewed this yet. This is Shaman. Mm, no. It's a two for one. Probably this. This thing looks powerful. What does this thing do? So I'll target online permanent. That's pretty good too. I think this is probably more open. What does this card do? The card's actually not horrible. The card's not bad either. The card's bad. This card actually is very good. I think I'm going to go ahead and take... Lich's Caress is also removal, right? I think we just take the Arcane Encyclopedia. It may be a little too slow for a draft, but we're going to end up finding out. Maybe the format's very aggressive, but I think it goes well in a wide variety of decks, and most decks in draft are going to be mid-range um, in nature, so should have a little more time. But I don't know the set, like I said, so I tend not to review these and, uh, you know, just jump right in. See if there's anything we know in here. Mm. Uh, this card's bad, right? Yeah, our card's bad, limited. What does this do? Mm. It's an aggressive card. That card's just interesting. Havic Devil seems fine. Actually, this this thing right here seems very good. What does this do? Mm. I think it's the white card here. But what do we wheel? Mighty Leap? Maybe a red card. Maybe we go Boros. I do think this is the best card in the pack, though. It's basically, uh, what is it, the, the Hammerhead thing from before. The Dinosaur, except for it's uh, one more. Alright, Remorseful Cleric. Double Cast is bad. What does this thing do? This card's actually pretty good. Um, it's just a lot of mana. Um, but I am kind of getting the inkling that like white may be open. Like, this card's still in here. This card seems fine. I mean, it's a very playable card. Now, Rabbit Bite's quite good, too. Hmm. Martyr's Axe seems okay. Sure Strike, meh. That card's kind of meh. I'm going to pick this thing up. Card's not horrible. I wonder if White Green's the thing. We're certainly not taking this. Oh, white green. I mean, Branchwood Armor is a fine card. I don't know if there's any hex proofers in the set. Shock is also very, very good. So I think we're just going to pick up a shock and plan on going like white red. Probably take Vengeance here again. Removal. Not the best of removal. I mean, it means you're taking the damage from the thing in the first place, but in a minimum, it is pretty unconditional. I mean, it's conditional removal, but it's. It is two mana removal for just about anything that doesn't have protection from white or, you know, hexproof from white, whatever they're using now for that mechanic. Well, Arcane Encyclopedia may have been a, a poor first pickup in retrospect for what we're seeing. Um, Shock that late seems kind of like a big sign to me, though. So, my guess is red is probably going to come around. We did pass an Electrify, and like that 4 3 for 4 seemed okay. Had Trample as well. Looks like our first draft is going to be nonsense aggro. Could have taken some cooler cards. Like it was the blue, blue black card, but I think gold cards in your first pack are kind of iffy. So I think they could tend to miss. Um, oh, this thing looks interesting. This card's fine. It's a playable. It's more playable than everything else in there. Um. Definitely not Knight of the Tusk. That's not a card we'll play. Bristling Boar is pretty good. That card's pretty cool. Now we could jump into Bristling Boar. Maybe Bristling Boar is where it's at. And we have some white picks and some red picks. I'm going to pick up the Minotaur, I guess. Alright, well. This card seems pretty decent. Suppose we just take the guy with stats, the 3-2. He's not very impressive, but he does fill on our curve. Will we play our Keen Encyclopedia in this? Well, it depends. If we get more removal, we probably will. I mean, card advantage is still card advantage, and in limited, it tends to be pretty good to have an effect like that. Notice that Smelt is in the set as well, and then Invoke the Divine, so there are a lot of answers to it as well. Okie doke. Well... 
This is a 2-2 two, two for 3 that just ramps. Eh. Well, I probably would rather have Take Vengeance than um, another, you know, expensive 3-2. Um, I think the, the Devils here are good, are the best card we're going to get out of that pack. So what do I think of the deck so far? Eh, it's medium. Actually kind of am interested in playing this dude in Eternal formats. I mean, he may be like a singleton for sideboard. I mean, Containment Priest is a much better effect, but he actually is good against lands as well. I don't know if he'll ever play Surgical Extraction, but the card is certainly interesting. I mean, it's a good rate. I mean, it's a 2-1 flyer for 2. Very good rate. So I think we're pretty solidly in white-red of some variety. Electrify did not come around. Not a shocker, though. Pun very much intended. Double cast is probably bad. What does this dude do? He's 2 4 again. Hmm. The card seems bad. The card's interesting. I think it's probably just a crash through. Yeah, I'm going to pick it up and put it in the sideboard. I don't know if I'll be interested in playing that. Marauder's Axe is probably fine in this deck. I mean, it's the only card we can play in that pack. Um. These dudes are big. I'll take this guy. Okay, well, I'll put him in my sideboard, too. A 4-2 is kind of a bad rate. Especially without Trample or any abilities. I mean, 3 mana 4-2 is kind of a little bit much. But that part of our curve is kind of open right now. So, I mean, maybe we put him in there just for giggles. Well, we got pretty hooked up. This card is... I mean, I don't... Like I said, I don't really study the set. But I do know that this card is a bomb. Um, this card's great. Someone's in black. Let's just rest and come back. Hiramance's Cage is not going to come back. It's very good removal, but I think this dude is just too much to, to pass up on. Um, the 4-4 four, for four, 4 creates two 1-1s one when attacking with Lifelink. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty busted. Got pretty hooked up on a rare there, so we'll see. I mean, maybe that can maybe we can run on the back of that thing. There's a few cards I really don't want to play in here, like this fellow. I don't think this is that great. 4 mana. If it was 2 mana, or 3 mana, rather. If it was 2 mana, it'd be broken, but if it was two, 3 mana, it'd probably be just about where we want to be. This dude's also kind of meh. He's kind of medium. He is a playable card at best. This is borderline. I don't even think that's like really that playable. This card seems kind of meh too. Well, this may be the card we're taking now that we know what we're in. What does this card do? The card's okay. It probably has a higher chance of wheeling than this, I think. This card is fine. It's a lot of mana, though. I think its chance of wheeling is higher than this, to be honest. I think I'm going to take, sadly enough, I mean, the sorcery is fine. I mean, it seems like it should cost one less mana, but... Alright, Lightning Mirror? Alright, Herald of Faith is very good, if I recall. It's a gain two life, and it's a flyer for just a little bit of mana. This card's fine. It's a bad fireball, essentially. Um, I think... We take this card, though. Yeah, I think I'm going to take the flyer. What does this dude do? Mm, no. Um. Well, we don't have any indestructible. We don't have any artifact creatures. Maybe it's just active trees in here. I mean, this is a body. It does some life gain. Actually, no, wait. I didn't even see this. This is great. It's removal. Gutter snipe. Instant or sorcery spell. So one, two, three. Eh. Doesn't feel like it's getting there, but what else will we take? Oh, this card? Yeah. Meteor Golem seems okay as well. Let's start removing this dude. Fiery Finish. That can remove basically anything. I mean, I think it's better than taking Invoke the Divine, which we can probably get a look at if we want to. Yeah, I'll take the... Alright, another Fiery Finish. This dude just gives haste, right? I mean, maybe we take another fiery finish, revitalize, game through electronic card, no. Yeah, maybe it's just another finish. Okay, well here I think it is pretty easily invoked. Well, wait, field creeper is it a thing that can attack. And we're at nine creatures. We ideally want to be at more than this. Mm, I think we'll pick up an invoke here. Alright, so lava axe deck, probably not. This is like righteousness, except for worse. I'll probably pick up a sideboard Lava Axe. Yeah, this card came around as expected. Um, is this even playable in this deck? 
we could probably play it in this deck. Probably don't need two of these. That seems like an awful lot of uh, six mana removal. Which, I mean, it's good, but... I guess it does incentivize the use of the Arcane Encyclopedia, because we can just get into more and more removal. Um, pick up a Lime Breaker. I mean, he's not great, but it's probably better than a Smelt, especially when we have uh, the Invoke. I think Luminous Bonds deals with artifacts. No, it does not deal with artifacts. So we have one way to deal with artifacts. I think we can pick up another Smelt if we really need to. Well, this deck is coming together. Um, it's got a bomb in the form of this. It's got some decent removal. So, I mean, looking at our removal, what does this do? This dude is kind of removal. No, it's Eddie Tardy. Yeah, he's kind of removal. Like, in real late game, he's removal. It's our late game removal right there. We have Luminous Bonds, um, Conditional Removal, 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 and Removal. We have two Flyers for the Axe, which is just decent. Have some card draw. I mean, that, that deck's coming together, sort of. It's, it's, it's close. <laughs> um, what does this guy do again? Well, if it's possible we take him, he can get back the Marauder's Axe and the Arcane Encyclopedia. Put him in the board for now. It's better than another crash through. I don't think we need more than one of those, and there we go. We get more than one of them anyways. Alright. What does this card do? That card actually seems pretty good. It's like a much worse version of uh, Ranker, but it's still a version of Ranker. Revitalize. I guess in some ways, being able to return it for three is in some ways better. Alright, what does this card do? This card looks good. Whenever a dragon enters the pay red, it returns the card to your hand. That card's quite good. Target creature. There's one of these dragons in here. Thud is just, uh, that's a combo card, if I'm not mistaken, with, um, I just can't think, uh, with uh, Treasonous Act. Alright, we'll pick up Spit Flame. I think it's fine. Infernal Reckoning is a great sideboard card in some Eternal formats, but I think this is a pretty easy shock. What does this guy do? Okay. That's interesting. This card I think is good as well. Uh, boom, boom. That card's pretty good, actually. That card's very good. Put some, put some counter on it. Yeah, it's very good. What does this guy do? The card's good, but I don't think it's as good as shock. Well, we pick up another shock. It's definitely not this thing. We already read this. This card is bad. Um, yeah, I don't think there's much of another choice here. I think it's just an easy shock. Ooh, I think this guy's good, actually. Yeah, this guy's actually pretty solid. I'm going to pick this fellow up. We're at 23 right now, which means we'd be the 17 land deck. This could possibly be a 16, but with a fiery finish, I'm probably loath to go below 17. We do have draw in the form of uh, Arcane Encyclopedia, so we shouldn't get too flooded. We've got a lot of removal, like th th three shocks, two take vengeances, the fiery finish, the spit flame, the luminous bonds. Yeah, I think this deck's fine. And we do have the bomb. I think this guy's kind of a bomb, too. I don't know. Maybe we'll see. Maybe he's not. Oh, wow. This thing came back. They didn't even change the art. That's the old, like, masks art or whatever that was from. Whatever block. The charge kind of much you charge. Do you guys return over this one? Seems like a little bit too much setup. I think. As opposed to our third fiery finish, we probably just take our first act of treason. Maybe the thud comes back around. I don't think I'm gonna combo. I'm gonna plan on comboing with that, but um, at the same time, act of treason is more more of a black red card than it is a white red card. But we could sideboard it in if our opponent has a bomb. We just can't deal with with our removal that we have, and it's not bad. <coughs> a little low on creatures, so I think we're gonna play more as a mid range deck um, than we will is an aggro deck, even though we're in kind of more aggressive colors. But we do have a lot of removal, so I think it's fine if we dirtle around a little bit or use a little bit or more suboptimal creatures to win with. Flyers, are they going to be a problem for us? Possibly, but we have a lot of removal for them. Okay, well, nothing really interesting here. Could just take a fire elemental and make it a fine card. Or just another act of treason. Hmm. Probably just take a fire elemental. I mean, it's okay. You could sideboard it in against something. I mean, I'd rather have that than two acts of treasons, I think. doesn't really combo out from this deck whatsoever. Well, I think this deck should be fine. The debate is, do I go 17 lands? I think I do in this build. I mean, I have a bunch of 5 drops, 6 drop. 
and we're going to see. I mean, you guys can tell me afterwards or put in the comments when I put this one up if it was more correct to um to play two fiery finishes. Uh, there's a world which we plays. What does this thing do? Um, this card's actually fine. I don't think it's horrible. It's actually pretty decent in this deck. Cause, I mean, we're going to be trying to push damage early and then just continue to push, push it. But um. Ooh, what's this guy do? Well, how many goblins do I have? I think this he, he would be my only one. But he has a 4-2 with an upside. I think... I think I'm better off just putting this dude in, just kind of flesh out my curve a bit. Alright, well, there's the thud. I mean, I suppose we take it. I don't think I'm in the department for another Luxodon linebreaker. Three twos don't seem great. Um, Smelt's probably fine. If we run into a deck that has a lot of great artifacts or artifact threats, we could do that. Um, normal endurance. Okay, that's like the one mana one that just went away. This thing's a six five. It's a big thing. Oh wait, no. What is this again? Eh. We'll, we'll pick up the card we could play. Nah, you know, we'll pick up Ghost Form. Ghost Form's kind of a cool card. Alright, Tormenting Voice we could play. There's a Fog. Probably good against us. Eh. The Two-Headed Zombie doesn't really worry me. If someone wants to pay four mana for that, um, and let us shock it, I think I'm happy with that. Alright, well, what do we think of the deck? Probably going to remove one card. Oh, maybe not. We go 16 lands to this deck. It's an 8-8 split, but, I mean, it's a core set, so there's that. My wonderment is, like, do I go do I go 16 lands? I mean, it has a decent little curve going. I think, I think I'm just going to save it and go 16 on this deck. It, it's really going to be match dependent on whether we're the beat down or aggro. I mean, I, I can't say, looking at this deck, that it's... A, pure aggro deck just because of some of the card choices. I mean, it's got a ton of removal, red base removal and some white. Um, I don't know. And Take Vengeance may just be bad. Like, it's awfully slow. It's basically like, um, what is the card called? Uh, gosh, I can't think right now. Um, Assassinate, I want to say. It's a sorcery speed. Like, it has to be tapped. Assassinate may be instant speed. I, it's hard to remember. All right, well, let's wish our opponent fun and hope that we can, uh... Hey, you too, man. Um, yeah, this hand seems fine. I mean, I got my bomb in there. I can cast a line breaker. All right, well, I'm going to keep. I have three shocks in my deck, too, so I think it's probably fine. All right, this is a white-green land. Well, you can just tell by looking at the card nowadays. All right, there you go. Your turn. Well, that's going to be nice. I'll curve out a little more. Opponent will probably have a two drop, my guess would be in white green. Oh, okay, so they're Absan. Alright, well, that card does pretty well against what I have going on. Or maybe she's just shocking it out of the way. I'm not going to do that yet. I'll put down the Pyromancer first. It's kind of funny how these two cards template, like the Highland Game and the Vishano or Vishinu Pyromancer. I think this is an old card, Highland Game. Um, Pyromancer, I think, is new, but I'd have to look. Yeah, Highland Game was printed like maybe four or five years ago, maybe six now, I don't know. Yep, you get in there. That is fine. Okay. That card seems interestingly, it seems fine. Okie doke. Well, they're ramping. I think I'm just going to develop my board here. The question is, do I attack? This thing is just a 1-1. One, one. Yeah, I'm not going to attack. I don't really feel like trading my, uh, his 3-drop three, three 1-1 one, one for my 2-1 uh, at this point. I don't think that makes sense. I'd rather trade it for the Highland game, probably, at this point. I didn't, you know, do it last turn, but I think that's okay. Okie doke. Well then. 
I don't have much else to do, so I'm just going to blow up the Highland game here and say go. Well, attack, but I could have protection for this. Nope. Get in with this fellow. Do they have like a giant growth effect? Well, that's a thing. It looks like they do have something. Okay, there's a flash 3-2 in the format. Well, I guess we'll trade. Or we won't. Yeah, we're going to trade. I think I'm okay with that. My bomb count's pretty high in hand, so... As long as we draw, like, some more white mana, that'd be nice, but... Really, any mana at this point to get the Siege Breaker Giant online. Alright, Manolith. It looks like they're on a... Monstrosity of Many Colors. Well, don't really have anything else going on, so I'm just going to play this out and I guess equip this thing. Not very exciting, but it can trade up if it doesn't die to something. Well, this is the price of playing 16, or the price of playing 16 lands. Kept a pretty solid opener, I think, but we may get a little mana screwed right now. Depending on what my opponent's up to, too, it may just be up to nothing. Alright, well, missing again. Alright, go ahead. Well, we've drawn a couple of our expensive spells, and it's a little dissuading at this point. Let me do this take vengeance, so if they pull ahead with, like, a bomb, then it's possible we could just, uh, get them. I'm gonna play something massive. Hopefully not. We shall see, though. Okay. Now well, we're gonna let that get through, I think. Hopefully we draw a uh, mana source this turn. Well, that was, I guess, better than drawing nothing, but <laughs> and they're on one card. Now they're probably, probably incentivized to stay back with their Elvish Rejuvenator, but we'll see. They could have an answer for uh, this Luminous Bonds, and if they do, okay. Can't be blocked by more than one creature. Okay, well, I can block that at a minimum with the uh, Vishinu Pyromancer. Okay, you may get in with that if you want, but if I have removal, then you're probably in a little more trouble. Well, we're going to continue to miss here. <laughs> but if we ever get out of this, uh, this kind of dry spell, I mean, we should be able to set up a, a good position, I think. All right. Well, I'm going to block that thing if you attack with it. Does this thing... Okay, you can return it. I think I do block here. I don't. If I draw a mana, I really don't want to play Take Vengeance. I want to play a, a real card out, like Leon and War, uh, War Leader. <sighs> All right, what else do we got? Well, something else big. Okay, well, that's dead. Well, it looks like we're going to continue to miss, guys. Just take vengeance on this thing. Yeah, there's a very good chance of hitting what they draw. I mean, if they draw live, then they'll just play something. Um, kind of get a little screwed here on mana, but what can you do? Okay, the sky scanner. What does this guy do again? Oh, that's pretty good. It's actually a good card. Colorless draw card. It's basically like a, a, a much worse, but it's sort of like um, a Belfast Strix. We're going to play out their card here. Probably put it on the... I mean, it depends. If they want to go for Temple, they'll just put it on the Ground Pounder. Okay. Well, I'm just going to play this out, I guess. This has kind of been a rough draw, though. I don't think, I think we're just getting unlucky, to be honest. I don't, I mean, we are at 16 lands, but still, uh, we've, uh, we've hit the top end of our deck. Really not a lot of castables and, like, no lands. All right, another dude. All right. No, 
know, any land would be appreciated. Probably put on the flyer, my guess would be. Put it on the bigger dude. Put it on the bigger dude. Okie doke. Well, that is mana. We just play out the big dude. <clears throat> Alright, finally, they're dead drawn a little bit. Get them with their 1 1. I think that is fine. Okay. White mana, come on, deck. You can do it. Well, the positive thing is, I mean, they're not doing a lot of damage to me right now, so I think I have to start getting in there. Could be wrong on that. Alright, they drew land. Are they going to hang back? Probably get in with both. Put me down to three. No, four. So if they attack with both, I swing back for ten. Huh. I think we're just blocking here. We'll just fiery finish this thing. Get in for eight. And then I guess if we hit a land we still can't spark tongue or spark tongue dragon. And they have to hit a kill spell pretty exactly. Because I'll be able to get through with the uh, giant. This giant seems really good actually. Well despite a more awkward mana draw, I guess if they hit removal they can still uh still take care of me my thing as well. Alright, well, we got there. As they say, screw tends to be flood in this game. And I think I'm going to stick with... I don't really see anything that makes me want to change my plan. Um, what does Revitalize do? No, not really. Um, didn't really see a lot of artifact removal. They only saw the Marauder's Axe from us, which I think that's Probably not that great a card. I guess Active Treason is actually not bad against their big dude. But now, I, I think we're fine. We have Fiery Finish to knock that thing or uh, kill that thing. We have two Take Vengeances. We have Lumen Spawns. I think in general we're good. We can generally attack through it with a Star Crown to the Stag. Alright, well, this hand seems perfect. Um, keep. It's got some decent early pressure. It's got a Luminous Bonds to take care of anything huge. And it's got a Star Crown Stag to kind of push us through the mid-game, I think. Alright. I'm just going to play a Plains out. I don't think there's a relevant difference. We didn't pick up the uh, the Thunder Bear or whatever that, that two red mana spell is, the three one that is a Fire Breather and can't be blocked by blue dudes. Alright. Well, it's not horrible. On an open board, it's pretty good. The Marauder Sacks, that is. So we'll get in for our two here off of this thing and, uh, well, see how it goes. I don't think we're going to be spewing off the Luminous Bonds next turn. I mean, even if you play something that I can't attack through, I don't think I do that. If I can trade with it, I probably will. Okie doke. Well, okay. There's a Flyer. I'm just going to play my Axe out and attack. They may block. I mean, the life, like, this does help them race a bit, I suppose. Depending on what they have to do next turn. But I have a pretty significant spell to cast next turn. I'm probably not locking the Marauder's Axe up. So, we'll get in there regardless. I mean, yep, they take. That makes sense. I mean, they have a flyer. I think you generally want to ride the flyer to, or for as much as you can, generally speaking. 
Uh, they're up green mana, which is interesting, because they had a couple double green big dudes, so they may be color screwed here, which, you know... Well, I think because of that, I'm just going to take Vengeance on this thing and allow them to kill my Vishanu Pyromancer. I think I'd rather them kill this thing when I equip this up, as opposed to, like, whatever else I play if they have a kill spell, which they possibly do. I think the most, I think the common one is at uh, 5 mana, though. Alright, well, they just take... Hmm. Alright, well, they now have their green fix on. So, we should see what happens. But next turn, we're likely just playing out the Herald, because it flies. And, okay, what does this dude do? Oh, that card's decent. I wonder if he trades with my dude. I think I'm going to attack into it. I mean, it's a 5-drop. He may just block here. I don't think I want to waste Luminous Balance on it. Okay. And we get a block. And my 2-mana spell traded for their 5. I mean, their theirs did cycle. But I still think that's fair. Now if they have the black spell, they can kill this thing. Oh, this thing gains you two life when it attacks. This card's good. I mean, I think they're probably going to have their five mana removal at this point, though. Yeah, they're just going to tap out for it. Like the caress card or whatever it is, yeah. Oh, strangling spores. Okay. Well, that does it as well. Okay, a dude. A ground dude. Well, that was not horrendous, because now we'll be able to play this fellow out. And equip him up, and he's going to be swinging for five, which is not bad. Essentially a juggernaut with upside. And we have two removal spells. Well, one of them is conditional. It means they have to, he has to attack, which I don't think he's very incentivized to attack right now. I think he's incentivized to kind of just hang out. It depends on his hand, though. I mean, his hand could have just a bomb in it. He's up to two green now, so he can cast the uh, the big green dude, which I'll probably just Luminous Bonds again and try to get through. Okie doke. What's this thing? It's a rare. Okay. This card seems very good. I'm going to just do this now. I guess I'm giving him some value, but um, I'll be able to tap down his uh, his knight at a minimum. We'll tap down the knight. Probably block with the Elf Warrior. Yep. Okay. This dude only gives bonuses to himself. Yeah. Alright, is my dude dead? Hopefully not. Alright, what happened here? Did we naturalize something? Oh, he naturalized that. Okay. Well, I guess that means he can attack. Oh, it's target tapped creature. Okay, so I'm going to have to tap it with my dude. Okay. I'm taking a significant beating here, which is what it is. Alright, it's a kill spell now. A vindicate. <laughs> Kidding. I don't know what's in this as far as white-black removal. Looks like my opponent's tapping out, though. Okay. Alright, take a little bit of damage here. I have to tap this fellow. And we'll see how they block here. Okay. They block with enough to kill it, is my question. So they do, I will spite flame if I have the opportunity to, okay?
action to take vengeance on this thing. Yes, I'm giving the mortal dudes. Okay, looks like they have something else. Oh, okay, that's pretty potent. They have one of our own, but we'll see what they can find with it. Okay, get in there. Hope we can draw one of our bombs. They could triple block this thing. All right, they have a kill spell now. They mize out. That would suck. Oh, they have a pump spell they drew into. Not really what you want to see, but it is what it is. Okay. And go ahead. Well, hopefully we can miss on a land, a land draw this next turn. Okay, well, they're going through their deck pretty fast. <laughs> Maybe we do want the uh, invoke the divine to get rid of the arcane encyclopedia. It's a possibility. All right, this thing has trample. Well, don't really want to block that. Curious to see if he'll block here. All right, they will. They will block. All right. Their deck does not strike me as one that likely has um, reach. Well, I suppose it could. I have to look at this set more. I mean, they did have the Sky Mar or Sky March of Blood Letter. Which obviously is a form of reach. All right, we'll get it for three here, down to two, and then we're on block duties next turn if we don't mize. Probably kill most things we can with shock here. Okay, draw a card. Yeah, they're gonna pull ahead pretty quickly with uh with arcane encyclopedia. We know they still have the five mana removal. Okay. Well, the question is, do I remove it now? So if I draw Fiery Finish, I'll probably want to cast that. Sadly enough, I think I do. I think I go ahead and just remove this thing. Give them some life. Um, I don't think the life is highly relevant here. Alright, well. Now we're on blocking duty. <laughs> um, well, 16 lands I think is right, but, uh, yeah. Sometimes you flood, right? All right, if they have a removal spell, I'll just go ahead and concede. Okay, they have a flash, 3-2. We can concede there. That is fine. I guess I could have... No, I could have left that thing around anyways. All right, so what do we think? Do we want to bring in... Do we actually have Invoke the Divine? We do have Invoke the Divine in our deck. Suspicious Bookcase any good? Cost 3 to do. It does block pretty well. I think I have better cards than that, though, in my deck. I don't think I'm going to change anything. I mean, it's possible we want, like, the, the bookcase to block, like, random small stuff. All right, well, this hand is a uh, auto mulch. Okay, this is a keeper. It's got some playable cards and stuff. Probably put a land on top at this point, because the hand is going to want to curve out. I mean, it's got a 2-drop, 3-drop, 4-drop, and it's got a Marauder's Axe. If it ever misses a beat, just to, you know, waste mana for a turn. Um... 
Linebreaker does not impress me that that much in this format so far. I'm gonna keep this. Um, I'm gonna bottom that. It's situationally great. I mean, if we knew they were on, you know, the the artifact, I would keep it. But I think it's probably wrong in the dark. All right. Well, if we hit a mountain on our next turn, I think, uh, or in the next two turns, I think we are in good stead. His opponent's deck does look a little more mana intensive than ours, but especially with the Havek Devils, the Trample with Marauder's Axe seems decent. Play out their three, one three. Yep. Okay. Well, that was a good pickup. All right, Smiter. All right, four mana. Okay, well, it's going to get my dude. Am I willing to trade this guy? I think I am. Oh, yeah. I think I'm willing to trade here. If they are willing to trade. Okay, they are willing to trade. Yeah, three drop for a four drop feels good. I think I'm just going to go for this fellow. I mean, it kind of begs removal if, if you have it. If they do not, we can equip it up with an axe. I mean, it did not do well last game, but it's better than nothing. I think it's better than the Havoc Devils, at least right here. Yeah, I could equip with the Havoc Devils and have a 6-3 trample, but the 3 is probably not going to be that relevant. I think I'm going to rather have this thing. All right, this is fine, I think. So, opponent... Does some damages to us. And another dude. All right, this dude. All right. I think I just developed my board here. All right, you're getting tapped, my friend. And let's see. Possible we get to take Vengeance next turn as well, plus resolve the Marauder's Axe. We shall see. They could also just hang back. Take Vengeance is actually also quite the combo with um, with uh, the Star Crown Stag. Do they attack? Okay, they do. I think the chances that they blow up something is pretty high here, so I'm going to put this on the card I'd rather than blow up. And go ahead and kill the, the Havoc Devils here, I think. Well, if they're going to let them attack... Oh, they have the, the Flash dude. Alright, well, what do we have next? Oh, big spell. Okay. These gentlemen. do here is still attack and tap down the big fellow. And we'll see how they block here. I think they have to opt to block the star crowned. 
But if it takes all six, we just went off of shock, right? So this leaves our options, I think, the most open. They're down to one card. Probably don't have a giant growth effect. Maybe they do. I don't know if there's one in the format. I often print those at two mana now. So, all right, we're going to block there. Are you going to block this dude as well? Actually, I think I still have it regardless because he takes three through this, and I just shock him to death. So down to two. And shock ya. Alright guys, well it looks like we took our first game down. And um, we're going on to round two of the tournament. 2-1 in the first one. I don't know how good our deck is. Our deck seems okay. Um, it's a core set, right? So the cards are pretty pretty bland. They generally be shades of mid-range. You don't have like really the constructed style decks. You get most of the uh, the professional or advanced sets for drafting. Like I said, this is my first time playing it, so you'll probably see me not play around certain things that I probably should, but... <clears throat> Alright, looks like we're on to round two, guys. And hopefully we can uh, keep it up. Deck's probably a 2-1, I mean, you guys let me know. Maybe the deck's just great. Alright, this hand is... Uh, uh, this hand's kind of like on the verge. 16 land deck, doesn't really have threats. I'm on the draw, though. This hand's not good. Huh. I'm going to keep, actually. It's probably greedy of me. I probably need to mulligan that on the draw. Okay. Well, based on our keep, that's kind of what we wanted to see. We just want to kind of hit lands with this hand. This hand does have a lot of upside if it gets to the late game. Um, if it does not, then it's going to have bigger issues. Okie Duke. Well, I think they are playing, uh, probably, they probably have Essence Scatter in hand. Kind of feels like how they were playing that. Let's see if they play a dude out. Alright, they do play a dude out. Okay. Well, play uh, this gentleman out and hope to hit a land. Blue Black's probably going to have a decent bit of, uh, what does this thing do? Oh, okay. Well then, is this what is the size of this thing? It's a 1-3? What do I want to discard here? Possibly the Trampler. Possibly the Invoke. Invoke kind of seems marginal right now, so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of it. I'm going to get in for one. Cool. Well, that's kind of what we wanted to see. I don't think I take the turn off yet. play this gentleman out. Let's see, go. Maybe they like mind rots, the mono mind rot dot deck. Okay, he got lost. He went on the top of my deck, okay. Okay. I mean, the thing is, like, yeah, they're playing, like, some interesting tempo cards, but, I mean, we're at the same life total, and my board is pretty evenly paired with them, I think. And I do have a decent bit of removal in this deck, so... Alright, this guy's gonna get back totally lost. And we'll get in for that. Okay. Hmm. Well... I think we just keep on playing dudes. If they want to try to race me, I think I'm fine with that. If we draw a land, we get to go Siege Breaker, but Siege Breaker doesn't seem great right now. The dragon's probably the best thing we could play. You know, we're not going to get value off, but I guess the Siege Breaker's fine. Alright, they disperse that. Alright, well, get in some damages then. Probably don't want to start attacking. Probably want to start blocking a little bit. So you're not doing that much damage. I mean, yes, you take, I take five if you go with everything, but that's kind of marginal. If I draw a shock, you just lose, right? Okay.
I think I'm going to play my book out this turn. Alright, they're going to block that with those two. Yep. And I think here, what I end up doing is just going book, and then we kill this thing and say go. And they can get my star crowned lost on top of my deck, and I'll probably just play out the siege breaker because it's a trampling behemoth. All right, we're getting lost then. We're at six. And your go at it. Uh, if they have a kill spell, I'm in a little bit of trouble here. Alright, they have a flyer, which is not good. They have another drain spell of some sort. Oh, opponent curved down pretty well. Their last draw here was obviously pretty decent. If they have another castable, they can go two spells in a turn. We're not quite in shock range, so... I mean, the Siege Breaker is at a minimum a must block. So if they attack with all three... I mean, they could attack with all three. Just two. Okay. Try this out. All right, it works. Okay. No, you can't take six. You have to block with something. I mean, I, it doesn't have to be the flyer. I'll probably block the flyer with the herald. And as of right now, I'm not dead unless they have like another sky march blood letter. Then I just die. Okay. Well, the flyer jumps in front. They all jump in front. Cool. I'll take two then. Maybe they have like a... Oh, they could have... Um, I just can't think right now. If they have the, the one card that brings it back after it dies, that kind of stinks. Okay, they don't. Um, the two mana version now, it used to be one mana. We shall see. I mean, it's it's really down to their top deck, I think, at the moment. If they have another Disperse or another Totally Lost or a Bounce Effect, we could just get tempoed out of this game. And if they don't, I feel like we're pretty good. We'll gain two life, and then like I feel like it's going to be pretty tough for them to kind of get back in, play a Spark Tongue for no value, but just get it out there to block in the air. And I mean, they're obviously also obliged to block the Herald if it does come to me getting to attack. Uh, but I think if they have a way to remove it or get rid of it, they're going to do it now because they don't want me to gain the two life. They've uh, obviously used a lot of tempo plays like the totally lost and the disperse. <coughs> the game's actually been fast-paced enough that, uh, all right, they're just putting it somewhere. All right. Okie doke. Gain some life here. Okay. No. They can't just take. I, mean, I guess they can, but... Okay. I'm just going to chump. I think we just get rid of this gentleman. Oops. And if we drew a mountain, we can actually get it back. We'll play the spark tongue next turn, but I don't think that's going to be relevant. Okay, a grave digger. Getting back what? Sky March Blood Letter, maybe? We shall see. Okay. Yield Sky March. Hmm. I think 
think I should play this gentleman out. Do I attack here? May I effectively just get a 2 2? I think it's fine. Okay, both of these are going to go in front. And. Okay, that's actually very good. Kind of stinks. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I guess we're going to lose, because he's going to copy his dude. If he copies this dude, he wins. Kind of miserable. <laughs> Their top deck served them very well there. They they hit. Good game, man. Yup. Pretty miserable. <laughs> they got very lucky there, though. Eh, the deck looks pretty cool. Kind of a miserable way to lose, though, I will say. Because I think we, uh, I think we had a pretty high percent to win that. They kind of went all in in the beginning, and then their top deck served them, well, extremely well throughout the the late game there. But what can you do? We're a little land light that game, but I mean we are a 16 lander. Shock did not appear to be phenomenal against them. This hand's fine. It's not great, but it's it's keepable. And go. What's the best draw? Probably a two drop. Do need other planes at some point, but Okay, you go. Okay, Omen Speaker. 1-3 with some upside to it. Well, if we have to draw land, Plains is the best draw. Mountain's probably the worst draw in the deck. And a 3-drop would probably be the best, but 3-drop into Plains, because I think Leon and War Leader's pretty good. Alright, they found it. Nothing. Alrighty, well, I guess we just leave up the Invoke the Divine and hope we can possibly get there on it. Don't know, but yep. Question becomes I mean essence scatters the thing in this format, right? Uh, I should have F sixed. Yeah, I'm just gonna throw this thing out there, go. That's annoying. I think what we do here is go for the attack, obviously. And see if we can use Spit Flame to protect this thing against their minus three, minus three thing. Now it's pretty annoying. Do 
just knock this thing out of the sky, whatever. Okay, well, looks like their deck is doing a pretty good job of doing exactly the same thing. I assume we're probably going to have our Leonin War Leader spit back to our hand, or spit back to the top of our deck. Okie doke. And we're going to play this and draw it again. And go. Oh, something big. Oh my. Scry 2, okay. Well, hopefully we hit a land here. That'd be nice. I think I'm willing to trade here. Alright, well, that kind of sucks, but, uh... Alright, doomed uh, to center. Alright, a bunch of life-linking dudes. Hopefully help abate the race a bit. Um, I think what we end up doing here, this goes to the front, this goes second, just blow up this thing. Play this thing out and say go. Okay, what does this dude do? Ooh, that card's very good. I'm gonna go ahead and draw here. Get in there. Oh, we get to use the Remorseful Cleric's ability. I guess I should have used it at the end step, but yeah, whatever. I think we'll be okay here.
right, what do we draw this time? Okay. Well, that sucks. Draw first. Tap this dude. Say, hey, get after it. And you go at it. All right, well, I got it. I want to attack here. All right, nope, they're done. They're done. <laughs> yep. All right, well, that was a kind of interesting game. Their deck looks better than ours, <laughs> to say the least. They have good cards. All right, well, sorry, I'm on the phone here, guys. All right, come on. Um, is there anything we want to do here? Probably not much. They have a lot of three toughness, too, which is kind of annoying. I don't think the axes are good. Fiery finish is kind of marginal. Maybe suspicious bookcase is good enough. I mean, God, their cards are great, though. I mean, I guess we're just subbing. They have the zombie lord. They have they have a lot of cool stuff going on. Um, I think we have to keep this. I don't think it's good though. Well, the opponent goes to five on the draw or play rather. I feel pretty good about that. All right, that's what we want to see. Just keep on hitting lands. Uh, Doom Dissenter. Doom Dissenter does not pair up. Alright, takes the Take Vengeance. It's fine. Duress? Hmm. I guess I do have some good removal. My hand's, like, not great. It's just, like, a bunch of nonsense. Kind of like medium cards. I'm going to play this, I suppose, and just dome them for a couple. Okay, they have the Zombie Lord. I think we just go for mana efficiency here. I can't think of a Force Spike in the format, so... Well, looks like their mana is developing quite well. All right, a doomed dissenter, which is not good for us, but that's what we have. Well, that was a pretty solid draw. Let's go ahead and dome this dude out. Okay. Damage. I'll 
opponent kept a lot of lands in hand. All right, they're going to gain some life and kill one of my dudes. Well, this is feeling pretty good. I don't have the mana to do that. No, unfortunately not. Force him to block here eventually. He's got to block at some point with this thing, and then... Nope, not going to block there. He's coming to play tapped. All right, we got him. Good games, man. Yeah, he kept a greedier hand, I think. He's hoping to top deck. Let's see we're drawing next. Planes. Well, not a lot of support was coming. We were pretty much on our own after that point. Oh, well, all right. Well, we're 2-0. In, um, with red white, I don't know what it seems like. It seems like the the maybe I'm just biased towards aggro decks, but I do think that in modern times, a lot of the sets, and it's also because I don't really explore the sets enough to know all of the synergies probably to make the cooler control decks. Uh, not that I would call this like a great aggro deck; it's more of a mid range deck, but um, it does have some interesting like synergies in it. I mean, it's got the dragon. Which was a huge pull there. I mean, getting a 3-3 flyer and a way to remove um, blockers was pretty solid. That was probably one of the more aggressive draws that deck can have, actually. Outside of getting the 2-1 uh, flyer, which is probably better than the 2-1 the that just ground pounds. And does 2 to their face. All right, well, on the draw, I'm going to keep. This could be really bad against certain things. It's very good against, it's better against an opponent that's mulliganing to six. His hand doesn't really have a lot of pressure. It's got a ton of removal, and it's got a way to draw cards, so. All right, blue, well, I guess arcane whatever encyclopedia <laughs> does kind of hose blue. Hopefully they play something that dies to shock here. That would be great value, but it's probably going to be like an omen speaker or some other such nonsense. All right, well, we've drawn <laughs> the most expensive card in our deck and uh, one of the second most expensive cards in our deck. I guess the, th the third. All right, what do you have? All right. Do I shock this thing for mana efficiency? Yeah, probably. I'm not guaranteed to draw land, although I'm very much so. Ooh, well, all right, go. Kept a two land around the draw. Got punished. I think I'd keep it again, though. Um, I'll let him draw a card. Just blow this thing up. His hand was very keepable, I think, though. I mean, in the dark, but we may... Yeah, man. All right, go ahead. I, I guess I should have probably just taken Vengeance on the Thopter. That seems really bad to me, though. All right, they have another one of these things. Uh, okay. I think we're in a lot of trouble now. We're just going to get mana screwed ruthlessly. Luminous Bonds, really? All right, well, I'm not going to discard. I'm just going to burn this thing off, I guess, and say go. Does not feel good, man. Does not feel good. Yep, we'll take our nugs. Um, that is fine. Land, come on, deck. Well, deck, well, not like this. I mean, I guess we did keep a two-lander, but even on 16, I feel like, yeah, we, we've run badly. We've run badly. We're at 13 cards deep. The probability of seeing two more lands at this point is pretty high. All right, what do they have here? Well, I guess we're getting to see their deck. Gain three life. Okay, well, we're obviously blocking here. We're, we're on the, the back foot. All right, well, I think we can just wrap this one up. I don't know if we're dead next turn, but we're very close to it. We're, there's no way we're coming back from this. All right, well, draw better. I don't. I think I can beat their deck. I don't think their deck looks that impossible to beat. They had a good rare there, but 
I think we just need to draw lands. I mean, this hand kind of sucks, though, right? If I keep this, I'm going to mull it. I'm a lot happier with this. Now, I do need to hit land, so keep. Top that. So they have a bunch of flying artifact dudes, which means that the Remorseful Cleric is probably not going to be great. Our explosive apparatus. I'm going to put it out there. I'm going to invoke the Divine next turn on it. Not blocking the lifelinker. Yeah, it kind of sucks to trade damage, but I'm going to have either a heroic reinforcements or a star crown stag next turn, and they're out of mana. All right, is this the artifact lady? The thopter maker? Yep, sure is. Just tap this thing down. Alright, removal spell. No, just this thing. Take the double block. Okay. I think I'm just going to take vengeance on this thing. And say go. Well, that sucks. I just stay on the offensive here. It's actually an interesting question. They have a lot of removal in this deck. Suck to lose that dude. That dude would have certainly made me want to stay on the offensive. Huh. I think I I think I pass it back actually. Okay, a grave digger kinda sucks. It's probably gonna get Scholar of the Stars. No, probably yeah, the child, okay. Child of the Night I think is okay. So if we attack with all, we lose the Remorseful Spirit, put them, and, and the Luxodon Linebreaker. They lose the Graph Digger, they keep the 1-3, they have a 2-1 lifelink, but they're down 2-3. Okay, I don't really have an attack here, I have to pass it, I think. Let me draw to some removal. The lifelink is going to be relevant. If they didn't have the lifelinker coming back, I would say we probably have a chance here. Alright, looks like they have another a uh, Aviation, no, a Graph Digger, oh, they copied it. That's kind of cool. And you get back what? Okay. All right. All right. Well, go. Still don't think they have great attacks, but we shall see. Is 
is a spirit, I believe. It's a 3-1. It can knock out anything that blocks it. Suppose we just chip in there, chip away. Okay. Opponent's deck looks pretty sick. I think if we lose to this, I'll be I'll be fine with that. Three, two graph diggers or a graph digger plus or a grave digger plus a clone. Another one of these things. Okay. Well, yeah, they're overwhelming us pretty well now. We need to get uh, our four three flyer. I think. All right, that's getting in there. If it wants, it's cool. Um. I think I just trade him here. Well, not what we want to see, but I also don't want to lose life to discard here, so I'm going to play it out. Um, this would force a block off of two things. Yeah. Not looking good, guys. We need to hit one of our flyers or something here. Yeah, we're just going to pass it. I don't think... They're going to get in for three a turn, but I think we need to hold the ground down and kind of hope we can draw into some gas. Um, all right. Card's good. Oop. Yield until the next ten step. This card is good. Okay, well, we're going to we're gonna lose this one, I think. All right, they're attacking with both the graft or the grave diggers, rather. Um, yeah. And, yeah. Okay. Well, opponent was uh, mana screwed, and now it is hitting gas. So, got him pretty low, but I don't know if we're gonna be able to finish off a lightning axe. Would just be sick, just be like bam, game. But I didn't bring that in. Okie doke. Well, what does this thing do? Be good. Can't be blocked. Okay, well that card's really good. Yep, can't do anything about that. Cannot do a thing about that. Well, more lands. All right, go. <laughs> yeah. Sad way to end the finals. I kind of would have rather played a good game. Like their opponent, the opponent's deck looks better than ours, but we uh we got kind of effed in the first game, um, just on mana, and this game, you know, just flooded uh, in the mid to late game. Even though I think we kept in a, a decent enough hand, I think the hand was good enough to win with. Uh, I mean, I can't do anything about any of this stuff. Yup. But at the end of the day, I think we we, I mean, we get to keep our cards, obviously, and I think we get to play again for pretty much free. Um, I mean, can we block anything? I mean, I I suppose what this? I mean, I'm dead. I'm dead regardless. Let's block it. No, <laughs> F it. Let's block. Let's do it. All right. Well, there we go. And I think do we, do we only get a hundred, or do we get uh, enough to play again? We get two packs. We don't per se get to play again. All right. Well, that was a, a friendly a Swiss draft. Or I'm sorry, an intermediate Swiss draft. Uh, we got two packs out of it. I gotta see. Um, I don't think I have my stuff tradable right now, but maybe we'll play another one relatively soon here. But that was my first uh, M19. Um, Draft. Uh, I think the draft went decently well. I mean, I think we played okay throughout it, uh, but it, time will tell. Like, you know, what the best way is to play around combat tricks and stuff like that. At least for me, some people probably already know. Um, but you know, course that pretty simple. Um, so some kind of basics of like you know just draft games in general. Most draft draft decks are two one decks. Um, I think the the this last game we played, um, you saw you know us kind of get viciously mana screwed in the first game and just you know lose to that, which that's something that could happen. Oftentimes it does not. Um, in the second game, we kind of flooded uh, mid game, um, but it could have gone. That second game, I think, could have gone either way because they obviously kept a two land hand, or they just failed to make a land drop on their turn three. Um, and if that had persisted for probably one to two more turns, I think we'd probably just win that game, especially just being five short. It's possible we also want to just put a light or lava axe in our deck, but I just I feel like that's way too all in. And I don't think our deck, you know, outside of like certain draws, really can't support. Um, that kind of finisher, because I think it should be pretty tough. Plus, a lot of life gain. Like, uh, just looking through, well, there's a lot of life gain synergies in the format, and I don't think it would be a safe assumption to say that uh, you know just doing direct damage is generally going to win you games, because the the amount of uh, 
lifelink available. But anyways, 2-1 finish. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, we'll probably jump into some more leagues and uh, probably do some more competitive ones because the payoff on that was kind of miserable. Um, two packs. You know, I would rather, if you could allow me to go to Eternal, like keep on playing it, I would do that. But you probably have to go into um, uh, the the constructed, I don't know the constructed tournaments, the, uh, the single limb to do that. And I may do that because uh, if it's not cube, I'd rather get decent EV for my time. Um, especially because I think if you go 2-1, you get to keep on playing um, over and over again. Uh, I could be wrong on that. I have to look at the pricing on it. But what can you do? All right, guys. Enjoy and take care now.